Hi there! I said I'd be back, so I'm back. Happy 2015. This is my first post or video blog in 2015. And I'm going to try to keep it up as much as I can. So I just got back from Las Vegas. What's today? Sunday? I got back Friday night. I went to CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, and that was amazing. I had so much fun, not only exploring the show, but the city of Vegas as well. I had so much fun. I wish I could stay longer. But it was a business trip, so I had to go back when the big guy said I had to go back. But it was great. I saw so many cool things, lots of internet of things and robotics and wearables and huge TVs and self-driving cars and so many cool things. I played video games with my eyes, guys. How cool is that? And just the city of Vegas itself, my boyfriend and I, we saw the All Variety Show, which had, you know, dancing women and a magician and midgets dancing and birds singing and doing tricks. It was so much fun. And the food there was great. Like, there was so much energy, and I loved it. It was perfect for me. I'd rather be there instead of in the middle of nowhere, suburbia. Anyway, I can't complain. I love everything I've got. And this is the whole purpose of this post, to, to talk about what I'm thankful for. And so I can watch it to remind myself when I'm having a bad day, which is rarely never. Which is never. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm, I think I'm still on Pacific time. So right now it's almost nine, so it would be six there. So I should be more energized, but then I came back here and then I was just so like, ugh. And the plane ride was traveling all day on the way home. We had, we had a layover in Phoenix, which was okay. It was an hour and it wasn't that bad. On the way there, we had a layover, layover in Charlotte. That was kind of like, if you look at it, it was kind of a waste of time because we're in New York. We had to go down and then over west. But anyway, it was fun. Everything was great. Everything was great. I don't want to give off negative vibes here. Anyway, so I don't have a list today. This is just me rambling without thinking before I speak, which is one of my downfalls. So I'll just be myself. So I'm definitely thankful for getting the opportunity to travel for my job. I never thought I would go to Las Vegas. If you asked me five years ago, I'd be like, I don't think so. I don't see why, how I would. I don't have the money for it. But it was a business trip, so everything was taken care of, and it was great. I am so, so, so excited about that. I'm also thankful for, we had a great Christmas and a great New Year's. Like, my family, they're the best. I got to see the tree in Rockefeller Center with my parents and my brother, who came to visit from San Francisco, and that was a good time. That was perfect. It was so lovely. And we don't really get together as often as we should, because everyone's all over the place. I have another younger brother, too, who's in Fort Lauderdale, but he couldn't make it up for the holidays, unfortunately. But I was thankful for that time with my family. That was perfect, and we needed that, you know? Not that we, like, fall apart or that we're not close or anything, but everyone's usually doing their own different thing. We're all very different people, but when we come together, it's great. It's always a fun time. The one thing everyone in my family, my immediate family, my two brothers, my parents, and I have in common is... A really really broad sense of humor and that's always a good thing so it was good times all around and the last thing I'm thankful for well he's included in my family my dog Dallas he is ten and a half years old now he's a dachshund he's a smooth hair wire hair dachshund mix and he's the best little baby he's the cutest boy he he has the heart of a puppy even though he's an old man and it's really starting to show and I know he's not gonna be around forever so I spend as much time with him as I can whenever I go back to visit my parents. He's just the cutest little thing. And I'm, my life would be not as sunny and bright if it weren't for him. All right. Well, that's about it. I have some steak cooking for Tim when he comes home. He is wor working a 12-hour shift today on a weekend. He voluntarily did it, which is cool. Um, I'm also thankful to have a very, uh, can't think of the word, driven boyfriend. And um, it's pretty late, but I mean, before I left, I was out today, I defrosted a steak and I have a steak in there for him. I put some hot sauce and barbecue sauce on it and garlic and salt and pepper and all this cool stuff. And I have some spinach that I'll throw on the side. So if he wants to eat it, he could eat it. If not, he could have something small. It's pretty late to eat a London broil, but whatever. It'll be yummy. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, I guess I will do one of these whenever, probably sometime next week. Or whenever I have the time, if I don't forget. Okay, bye.